What's going on, brothers? Just let me tell you the name. Got a deal for you. It's your title. Autopilot, part four. Here goes. So, for the past three and a half years, I have not been able to go even 24 hours without some ditch pig or some walking trash can jumping in front of a camera and asking the same sorry ass question where have all the good men gone where have all the good men gone and despite all the men tall short handsome broke rich who've all said and told these tribes where the good men are they just start getting a message. It goes in one ear and out the other ear. So, what has happened now is that a lot of our lingo and a lot of our talking points are mainstream. And me personally, I didn't ask for this to be mainstream. It just happened. And a huge push for it to go mainstream It happened after Caius passed away. After Caius passed away, and those domestic reptiles did their little victory lap in their watch party, it blew up from there. And the funny thing is, Caius wasn't a MGTOW. He was actually a self-proclaimed feminist. But yeah, he did use our talking points. So... Because of that, this philosophy, this lifestyle is on autopilot, and those demented creatures in a high place can't do shit about it. You see, we're not the ones who fought tooth and nail to destroy the nuclear family. Linda Gordon and her ilk did that. We are not the ones who spent the past 56 years saying that men are worthless, men are obsolete, men are useless. We didn't say that. We're not the ones who said that fathers are useless. Young men still need their fathers. We didn't push all of that societal cancer. They did. And despite their best efforts to supplant us, to supplant men in general, they failed because our ground game is superior. We're more resilient. We learn just and adapt. So, I called this years ago as the casual misandry would get worse, more and more men would just go for broke. It's at a point now where there are certain trollops and ditch pigs who rip off our lingo, go to TikTok and try to sound all clever and make the, make the young men who watch the video smile. But those are not her talking points. Those aren't her talking points. She got it from this sector, this sphere. So yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is for the foreseeable future this lifestyle, this, auto, this lifestyle and this philosophy is going to be on autopilot. And it's going to stay that way. I mean, we're actually at a point now where foreign men are doing videos on TikTok saying why they stopped dating American women. And one of the number one reasons why they stopped is because of the attitude. Translation, the casual misinjury. That's why they stopped doing it. Another reason why they stopped doing it is because the one deal breaker that a lot of these American women have is, of course, height. Most men in Western civilization are not tall. I just happen to be tall. I'm 6'4", 270. With athletic genes, courtesy of my father, my grandfather. I'm handsome. 
but most men are not my height. But here in the West, that's a deal breaker. And these talking points, this lifestyle has reached around the globe, has basically reached around the globe, and I don't see it stopping. I, I, I can't see it stopping. You brothers probably, you brothers, brothers might be able to see it, maybe, I can't. But if you know, give it a comment section. Mm hmm. Give me the comment section. All of this didn't happen by accident. All of this was a long time coming. These trollops and these walking trash cans saw to it that marriage would become a funeral with cake. They pushed to make dating and relationships a zero sum game for men, where no matter what he does, he pays, she gets nothing. Actually, she sits back and he does all the work, all the heavy lifting, whether it's spiritually, mentally, and financially. That's parasitism. And enough men have got the point. That's sort of beckon off. Mm hmm. That's sort of beckon off. But it's not what I think. How about you, brothers? What are your thoughts on the subject? Do you think this lifestyle's philosophy is going to remain on autopilot for the foreseeable future? Let me know. I'm all ears. Mm hmm. Right, brothers? Right, fam? You know real? You know routine? Go your own way? Live your own way. That's these trollops. These walking trash cans. Those are probably we say we say it. Give them nothing. This is me, Tell PSC. Welcome to State. See you soon.